So just doing this type of head, I've done a 5F on the body, 7F on the legs. Hello, sweetheart. I've done also um, a 7F ears. Because whenever I'm doing a shaved body, I tend to like to take the ears a bit shorter because I find it just looks a lot better. So I'm just going to prep the ears. Now I've done those with a 10 blade inside, 7F on the outside. And I'm just going to cut the ears and just clean them up. Now, a little tip that I was taught by a friend of mine, that if you don't want this shaved look, you can always just shave the bottom area and then use the scissors on the top area and it becomes a lot longer. Now, after I've done the ears, I've just prepped those ears, made them clean. Um, I'm gonna get my 30 blade and I'm going to get, hello, sweetheart. I've got a 5F, oh, not a 5F, a 5 extension comb. And I am just going to go over the top with that. But I'm not going to push it through very quickly and just take that excess off. Now, as I'm doing that, I'm not touching that front bit. I'm just going from the back and focusing to blend this bit into that bit, okay? Now, also, I go with my five and I go opposite up here. Same thing, just to blend that in. But I'm stopping... So I'm not going right up, I'm just stopping there to then allow me to then scissor that later. Same thing with this side, I'm just going to blend that in. And this is a really good little trick to do with drop coats. Um, now I'm doing the same thing underneath and just blending that bit in. But I still want to give her a look of a scissor haircut on the face, so that's why I've stopped right here so that way then i can scissor the rest okay now you know me i like my blenders when i'm dealing with drop coat so i'm just going to straighten this bit up and this bit will join to the bit that i've already prepped with my clipper if you can see that so you can see already that clipper work is just i'm pretty much just putting a straight angle on it just like that okay just a straight angle. Same thing with this. Just gonna do the straight angle on there and bring that in, okay? Now I'm just gonna clean these little bits up with my blender and I'm using my Joe Marsons again. These are fantastic little blenders. Um, really good for drop coat and stuff like that. I, I use them quite regularly. Now, this bit here, when I was blow drying her, I made sure that I blow dried it like this because she has a really flat coat. Um, if I blow dried it straight on, this would have been even more flatter. So I made sure that I tried to give her a little bit of body, which it sort of has, but it's still, you know, she's just got really flat coat. So I'm just going to, again, with my blenders, take whatever is in front of the eyes, but I'm not actually touching on the top bit because I want to keep that height. So now, oh, sorry, hopefully you guys can see. I'm just gonna, again, I wanna keep that height. Because when they look at her, I want her to look a little cute. You'd be surprised just when you're doing, you know, a shaved groom, doesn't mean you still can't give style to the dog, you know? The face in, is, my mum always says, the face is the window to the soul. So if you get the face right, you could have the worst bloody haircut on the body, but if the face is right, that is what they look at, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm just, again, cleaning that up. Now, I'm bringing her head down just to double check that there's nothing going over because I hate it when I see visors that go over like that. So I'm just cleaning that up from the side. And I'm gonna do the same. Stay, Bubba, I'm gonna go over this way. And I'm gonna do the same from this side. Okay, but I'm not touching the middle bit. Just touching that side bit, if that makes sense. Because if I touch that middle bit, I will lose that beautiful arch. All right, now, hello, my little monkey. Yes, she's my old girl. Now this little girl, her mummy likes her to be really clean and short. So I'm just, I've already prepped before the bath. I've done a 10 blade there. And I've done also a 10 blade here because I got rid of all these little flyaways because I just, in my opinion, can't stand them. I'm just going to now blend that in a bit. Stay, Baba. Good girl. 
such a good girl. Now, if a dog had a lot of little bits here, which she doesn't have, I would actually trim those. So now I'm gonna hold her and I'm gonna just grab my thinners. Don't bother. And I'm just gonna join up the bit that I've already done here. So it just becomes like a little jigsaw puzzle where it all joins. Same thing from this side. I'm gonna just join to that clipper work, okay? Now, it's pretty much nearly finished that haircut. I'm just gonna get my comb. I'm gonna then go and follow what my clipper work has done and just clean it up, okay? Now, if you wanted not so much of a square look, the thing you would do now is you would lift that up, lift that up, and just bring some of that in so you lose the squareness. See the difference? Okay, same thing with here, you just lift that up and remove some of that squareness. Okay. I'm hoping to bring more of these videos because, you know, I just like honestly want to give back and help people that need help because when I worked by myself, I never really had the help because there wasn't a lot of seminars and stuff like that. So I just want to show people things I've learned over the years and I, I hope they help. Um, obviously, this is all my opinion, but yeah, I've just changed that up and done that. Okay, so yeah, she's finished. Hey, she's all finished. So yeah, that's how I do that type of haircut. Really simple, um, you know, uh, really simple to do. And I say bye, miss. Say bye, miss.